Internet Marketing for Beginners, How to Get Traffic Being new to the internet marketing business leaves you with many more questions than answers, and it often seems that the more you dig into it, the more questions you have. By now you have been trying this and that to get up and running, you probably understand that you need two basics in place before you can even begin to start looking for traffic. A product or service to sell a place to market this such as a website or blog there are literally millions and millions of products and services to choose from on the internet marketing scene. Not all of them are actually good to sell as some are outright rubbish so you need to do your research and choose carefully. You also need to choose your source carefully too as not all of them are honest about paying you what you are due, some do not pay and others skim off of your commissions. It is good if you have your own product to sell, because you can set this up in a place such as Clickbank, but more of that in another article, let's just assume that you have your product slash service, and that you have set up your blog slash website and it is up and running and findable on Google, even just a very basic site that need not be fancy or professional. Sometimes a really professional site can chase potential buyers away believe it or not. You are excited and fresh on the internet marketing stage, and raring to get sales in, and nothing happens, nada, zilch. So what now? Now we look at what you need to do, and where you need to go to get buyers, you need real people to visit your site, and then you need them to click through and buy whatever it is you have on the go. This is not as easy as you might have hoped especially in light of what you may have been promised about internet marketing recently or in the past by those who want you to believe that you can get it going in 48 hours, or some such quick promise. So get this straight right now, there is no quick cash in the internet marketing world. You have to work for it. Anybody who tells you otherwise is tempting you to believe them for their reasons and benefit and not for yours, okay? That said, let's get into this process of getting traffic. This is very similar, in principle, to getting people to walk into your shop in the mall, you need to give them a compelling reason to do so. If you tell nobody anything interesting or if you show them little or nothing, if you do not get the message across, put yourself in front of them when they are looking for something specific, they will not come in. If they do not come in, they will not open their wallets and buy from you. That much is pretty obvious. But now how does this apply to a little website among many millions on the vast internet marketing stage? Well, you need to get the word out, and you need to place yourself where interested buyers can find you. This can be a pretty long-winded process, but it is also effective and very fruitful if you do it right, bear in mind that traffic is people, they are real humans and not zombies or idiots so you can't just throw any old nonsense their way and expect them to go for it just because you desire it. Now. There are two main sources of traffic, 1. Free or organic traffic from your own efforts, no cash outlay needed, just hard work too. Traffic from paid sources, such as Google AdSense, and you cash for this whichever way you look at it, you are going to pay, one way or the other, in blood sweat and tears, or in cash.